In this video, I will be looking at the Holiday model, which was proposed by Robin Holiday. It shows how homologous recombination can occur in eukaryotes during mitosis to exchange genetic information. Here we see two homologous double helixes are aligned beside one another. The bottom strands, which are 5' prime to 3' prime, face one another. A nuclease cuts a single-stranded break in each of the strands. Note there is a single point difference in the nucleotides in these two double helix strands. The cut end of one strand then invades where the other strand was cut, and vice versa. Ligation then creates the holiday junction. The holiday junction is a cross bridge that is able to move along the heteroduplex. Here we see the cross moves up the heteroduplex. The mutant and wild type alleles B switch to their opposite DNA strands. There is now a mismatch where the single base pair difference was located. An enzyme repairs either the top strand or the bottom strand base pair. This means the DNA could have a wild type or a mutant base pair. Here we see the middle base pairs are repaired. Here we have bent the holiday model so that we could better understand it. We can also rotate the bottom half like in the left image. The image on the right will help us understand how the holiday model resolved itself. The holiday model is enzymatically cleaved. The cleaved ends are then repaired by enzymes to create two new heterologous double helixes. This can happen one of two ways. The model can be cleaved north to south. This creates the top image. The model can also be cleaved west to east. The image on the bottom results then. Although there are flaws to Holiday's model, it is a great example of how the organism can use recombination to swap genetic material or to repair damaged base pairs.